Hi, I'm Scott Woodruff. In the next two minutes, I'll give you some high points on two popular ways to homeschool legally in Virginia. Whichever option you pick, if your child is enrolled in a public school, you should send a letter to the principal stating that you are withdrawing the child in order to homeschool him. The first option is called home instruction. You must file a notice of intent. In the notice, you will identify yourself and your child and pick one of the four ways you can qualify. One, by having a high school diploma. Two, by having a teacher's certificate. Three, by providing a program of instruction. Or four, by showing evidence you can educate the child. You must state that you intend to provide home instruction and include a list of subjects you plan to teach. Send this to the superintendent of your school division. After the first time you file, it's due annually by August 15th. You must also file an evaluation of your student's progress at the end of every year by August 1st. There are several different ways to do this. The second homeschool option is called religious exemption. This is for parents who believe they would be violating God's will for themselves if they sent their child to public school. This usually starts with a parent writing a letter to the school board. Sometimes letters of support from a few others are necessary. The letter needs to be done right, so make sure you get advice from a credible source before starting. Under this option, no assessment is due at the end of the year. These are just the highlights. For questions, I'd invite you to consider joining HSLDA. As a member, you'll have access to our dedicated legal team who can give you help for your individual situation. Thanks for watching.